Starting my two night session on Kevin Mabry. Um, it's really warm today. Certainly one of the warmest days of the year. And uh, as you can tell, I got my sunglasses on. I've been fishing. There's been loads when I arrived, loads of fish on the surface. So I was concentrating on fishing a zig. And I fished the one rod just for an hour. And I've just cast this out now into, uh, into the second rod. I just got the second rod out literally 10 minutes ago. And I was just putting the, putting the bloody up. And, uh, and away it went. It didn't take long. I fed uh, a load of, uh, when I got you when I arrived, a load of ultimate spot mix into the corner, about a kilo of it. I left it for an hour while I concentrated on the zig, because I've had nothing on the zig at the moment, but I'm going to leave it out there, fishing just about six inches below the surface. But this went off after, well, just not long at all, really, and uh, a nice start anyway. So it's a nice little common. Again, a lovely fight, and uh, as you can see, most of my stuff's still on the barrow. Just got the rods out very quickly because there was a, a lot of fish in the area, so there we are, good start. Well, it's been, it's been a bit of a hectic start, really. I had that first one. And the rod has, a, I don't think the bait was actually, the hook bait has actually been in the water more than 10 minutes without me getting a take. This is the second one I've got on the bank. I lost one uh, about four minutes after the first fish I had. Hook pull right by the net. It wasn't a bad fish either. I lost another one then. It was a big twig wrapped around the leader and, and uh, had a feeling the fish was going to come off. You could see this big twig tangled up in the leader, but so that, that had the hook come out then, obviously. And uh, I just had this one. and. Uh, They've been, I've been putting in the Carp Particles UK Ultimate Spod Mix in that corner. I've, done, I've just done another kilo in there. Just, so that's two kilos I've put in since I've been here. I've only been here an hour or so. and Well, actually fishing with that rod for an hour or so. And there she is. I haven't weighed her. I don't, I don't think... She may well go £10, maybe a low, a low double. But uh, I, haven't, I haven't weighed her. But uh, yeah, it's nice and nice in that uh, evening sunshine. It's a lovely evening tonight. And... Uh, like I say, sport's been <laughs> been hectic and surprised me really because there's so many fish on the surface that I thought I might struggle with the bottom bait. So I'm going to bring that zig in now and I'm going to put the second rod out uh, with the bottom bait on over towards the island and scatter a few boilies around it and see what happens. So uh, I'm going to top this top this swim up again, uh, this margin swim with, with some more uh, spod mix. Because they seem to be enjoying it, they seem to be getting on it, and uh, they've really they obviously you can tell the water's warmed up because this fort like stink, it really did. And it's a little overhanging bush on my left in the swim, and they all head for that. And uh, you almost found it a couple of times, but yeah, it's a good start on this session. I'm really pleased with that. Well, I couldn't have asked for a better start, really. I've uh, I've two on the bank and I've lost two and uh, that, I did weigh that one afterwards before I put it back and it went to over £10, so that's nice. Um, just having a cup of tea now, before it gets dark, it's a lovely evening. And uh, just having a cup of tea. Um, that rod, the left hand rod at the margin, they're, they're onto those particles, they, they're well into those particles today. They're, I'm getting taps now, as we speak I'm getting taps and uh, just before I put the camera on, I. It, I had a couple of beeps on the bobbin, so I'm expecting a fish. I, I don't think I'll be able to fish it in the night because it's it's fairly close to a snag and um, I don't want to risk losing any fish, so I think I'll cast it further out tonight. But I'm going to stay up as late as I can, really. I'll stay up till midnight, one o'clock, sitting next to the rods, just to, to see what I can get out of there. Um, and then when I when I put my head down, I'll, I'll cast it a bit further out just to stay safe, and I'll be up then before first light to get back in there again and, and uh, it's probably good to, have a, to, to rest the swim actually for a few hours instead of hammering it for two days you know so yeah it's been a, uh, been a good start and uh, I can't, can't complain 
the other rod now I've taken the zig off although there's still a few fish on the surface I, I was they were very close to the surface the fish I was fishing about six inches under um, and didn't have any takes at all so I've brought that in I've put that closer to the island I brought that in actually I've put the other rod out now with a bottom bait on and uh, put it close to the island and put a spread of boilies around it um, to see what that will bring and again I've left the other rod set up with the zig on it so it's meant to be warm tomorrow if it is again I'll uh, it's all adjusted to the correct height now so all I've got to do is is, is, uh, is whack it out there for a few fish on the surface so um, yeah like I said I'm going to stay up as late as I can uh, and try and wink or one more out before I have to go to sleep so, uh, like I said it's a lovely evening and I'm just enjoying being out it's so nice being out on the bank again for a couple of nights and uh, a lovely clear sky yeah it's really enjoyable I can't think what order they wouldn't be honest. Um, <laughs> there was a, a, uh, a common. It was long and thin, like it looked like a wild common. Like a wild common carp, very like a torpedo shaped, you know, very thin, very long. And it fought for something twice its size. I mean, it fought unbelievable, considering it wasn't particularly big. And a very small ghosty then. They came in no problem at all, and um, and then a, a mirror just over 11, which is the biggest so far. Um, up until about half 12, um, I was getting indications on the on the um, on the alarm and the bobbin, so I reeled the rod in then, to be honest, just so I can get some sleep. I set the alarm at five o'clock, just for first light. I was absolutely exhausted. Um, so I reeled the rod in because it was it was obviously fish feeding down there. Um, I know it's a shame to do that, but it's probably a good thing to rest the swim anyway. Uh, I've topped up this morning again with another. Well, I topped up last night with half a kilo uh, before I reeled the rod in, and uh, and then I topped up this morning with another half a kilo of the uh, carp particles UK uh, ultimate spot mix, which they seem to be enjoying. They seem to be getting on. Um, yeah, I was exhausted, so I had to get some sleep. And uh, so the kettle's on this morning. Uh, the kettle's on now. It's a lovely morning, beautiful morning. Really nice, clear sky. They have forecast rain later on, and which will uh, cool things down a little bit. But it's meant to be hot again this afternoon, so uh, so we'll see. But yeah, the uh, yeah, I think that's five. I think that's five on the bank so far. We've lost two. Uh, so um, it haven't been, been bad. Uh, right so far yeah I'm gonna change the, the the other rod that I've been casting towards the island I haven't had any indications on that at all so I think I'm moving that one closer in or maybe in the middle it, it, it kind of it's kind of a bit of a plateau a bit of a bar in the middle which I might fish to um, it goes instead of the, the deeper uh, uh, end uh, side of it the other the other side so I might uh, do that change the tactics on that one because that one's been very very quiet Considering the other's been uh, the other rod's been pretty busy, but non-stop really. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, uh, a quick brew. Pretty mirror there. Yeah. Um, like I've said before, I'm fishing to a snaggy corner to some snags, and so I'm fishing locked up, and uh, the bites are literally two beeps on the alarm. Uh, tip goes around and then it's a drop back and that's pretty much happening every time and um, I'm hitting them and then you bully them out straight away so the fish don't really have time to think you know as soon as I'm as soon as I'm hitting into them I'm bullying them out of the, the snag which means that all the fight is done under the rod tip and uh, as we know that's the most nerve-wracking part of the fight is is when the fish is under the rod tip and uh, they, they go like absolute 
hell when they're uh, when they realise they've been hooked and even fish of this size give you a really good run around and um, like I say that every fight is quite nerve-wracking because it's right under the tip and uh, well that's the as you all know that's the worst that's the worst part of any fight is when they're, when they're that close in but it's really enjoyable and really good fun and it's a lovely coloured mirror it's a lovely orangey colour to it it's belly that's a really nice start to the day you can see the sun just coming up behind me now that's a really nice start today. I think it's time to get the bacon sandwiches going, another cup of tea, and put a bit more spod mix in. Average stamp of fish. Uh, they keep me busy today. Uh, haven't got into the any, any of the. Haven't got into any of the real big ones yet on this session. Still got a night to go. Still early on in the morning, but like I say, they are good sport. They are giving me some good sport. They give them a good fight every time, so I can't complain when your time on the bank is limited like mine then you've got to enjoy every fish that comes along and I I certainly am enjoying every fish this session it really is uh, it really is turning to be a bit of a prolific session to be honest that uh, they keep coming back to that spod mix every time and um, I don't, I'm not sure I brought enough <laughs> I brought five kilos, I'll probably use at least half of it now, so I'm going to top it up with some boilies as well. They certainly keep coming back, that was in the water. 10 15 minutes and it went off again, it's great. There we are. Well, I had a little lead about this morning because that other rod hadn't produced anything, so I had a little lead about and I found a little plateau just out there with deep water either side, so I fished on the plateau. Um, and I wasn't on there long. I put a couple of sprinkler and milk amino around and it's bang on 19 and a half pounds. So it's just increasing my, my venue best actually uh, by a few ounces. So that's really good. And uh, oh, it's elephant. Common, it's a beautiful common. Really is. And I say it wasn't out there long, so I decided to fish slightly on top of that plateau in slightly shallow water and it seemed to do the trick, so I'll stick with it for now. Uh, and and uh, as I was playing this one, I had a double hook up, the other rod went. Uh, the other rod went as well, and um, the fish uh, first of all ran out into the middle of the lake and then it went back into the snags it's in there now i've got a tight line on it so if the alarm goes that's the reason why it's because i've left it on a tight line and i can feel it kicking so but anyway i'll deal with that in a minute but it's a uh, beautiful look at the shape on that common looks like it's going to grow to be a big fish as well look at the look at the shoulders on that so i'm really happy with that as well that's a really nice common um bigger fish tend to come from different areas so uh that's why I had a little lead about this morning. Here we are, beautiful fish. I'll show you the rigs and the bait a bit later when I get when I get five minutes. I'm gonna have to reel the rods in to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I put that out with a scattering of milky amino boilies around it, and it, it didn't take long to go off at all. So uh, there we are, 19 and a half, bang on. I was hoping it might just go 20, but when I lifted it, I thought it's, uh, I had a feeling it was going to just fall short. I'm not going to complain. That's absolutely beautiful.
condition this one actually. Really good condition. Mouth. Mouth is really a nice shape in it. Nice. Spot mix what I'll do now is I'll show you the, the rig that's been catching all these fish over the last couple of weeks. Spot mix from Car Particles UK, and I've almost done all of it. I've got to keep putting bait in there to keep the fish interested. So I'm just using my uh, favourite crusher from Assassin Tackle to just crush a load of boilies just to supplement my uh, spot mix. So what you do, you put the put the bait boilies. Whatever you want pellets into the small part, put the larger part underneath, over the top, a couple of turns, and there you are, holy crap. And that's what I want, I want to feed them, I want to keep them interested, I want scent, I want smell. So I say put it in the smaller part, bigger bit on top, just so easy with this. quite for a while but uh, yeah it's been quite for a while and I was getting a few I was getting a few knocks on the bobbin as usual I thought I'd put the camera out so I just had a feeling it was gonna go off and as soon as I pressed the record button <laughs> it went away it went away so that was perfect timing really uh, it's a nice Coloured mirror. Oh, it's a nice looking fish. There's a few scars on his head. I'll put some clinic on that before I put him back in the water. So yeah, it's been quite for a bit, but I was getting indications on that on that rod for some time. Um, I've put a zig out, but there's so many fish going up and down this margin, I, I can't ignore it. And uh, I'm gonna put a bit of spot mix in just just by this tree to the right of me 
I'm going to put a bait on there because they, they seem to be patrolling right under my rod tips and like I said I can't ignore it and, um, I'm going to give that a go, I've had a zig out for an hour and, uh, and nothing on that yet so so I'll try another margin spot and see see if that produces, again it's still warm today so um, they're certainly moving about, they're coming into, the, coming, coming into the edges and looking for food so uh, hopefully if they get onto that spot mix in that other spot now then uh, maybe I'll wink, and, uh, wink a, a couple more out there, yeah, but that's a lovely coloured mirror I've got to be fair. And, Fact that they were cruising up and down under the underneath the, the rod tip, so I had to, I had to put a bait in there, and it didn't. 